let's go ahead and talk about how we use our right side for power. A very dangerous subject because there's a lot of golfers out there that will use their right side incorrectly. Let me show you a few different ways. The most common way is to do it right from the top. Your right shoulder starts to come out, possibly even your right arm or your right wrist starts to throw the club out from the top, getting rid of all your power early. The second thing you can do is you actually make a pretty good transition. You start the downswing with the lower body, things begin to fall into place, but from this point on in the downswing, the right elbow starts to push out and it starts to get away from your body in more of a pushing the club into the ball position, not pulling a lagging club head into the ball. And then another thing that I see is very late in the downswing, up to the top good, halfway down good, but at this point on, the golfer starts to really kick their right wrist out into a little bit more of a flipping, scooping motion. You can see there all three of those different downswings are some combination of misusing your right side, whether it be your right shoulder, whether it be your right arm, or whether it be unhinging your right wrist. So if we can learn and train to properly use our right side, we can really develop power but the right way. Because remember, your right side, usually if you're kicking, punching, whatever you're doing, your trail side is usually your, your most powerful side. So what we want to feel in the correct downswing is up to the top. Now if I take my left arm off here, we're trying to get to a position in the downswing where the right elbow falls into our side as we start with our lower body into our side and then down into impact. But you can see here, if I do it slowly, my right side is only moving this much from here to here. Right elbow folded at a 90 degree position down to impact. And you notice that impact position, my right elbow is at an angle with the shaft of the club, which allows me to compress the ball and put a little more pressure on the back of that golf ball. A lot of people focus on pulling with the left arm to get to that position and to get up here. But remember, you're probably the most coordinated and the most strong with this side of your body. So let's learn to train it correctly. Up to the top, and the very first thing here, my right arm goes straight down. As it works straight down, you can see it's actually unfolding. It's not unfolding to where I start to use my right shoulder and the outside muscles of my right arm. So it's unfolding this way as I initiate that downswing. One other thing to note, my right wrist is maintaining its angle as it starts down also. That's what brings me into this hitting position to where I can put a lot more pressure on that golf ball. I'm putting pressure into the ground with my feet, I'm unfolding my right arm, and then down into an impact position where I've got good shaft lean at impact, and I've got good ground force, good stability into the ground here. So you can try hitting balls like that up to the top, pump it down, feel that condition, feel what the right arm does, how close it stays to the side, and into impact. You can see here it's really not moving much at all in the downswing. All the three downswings that I described earlier were very exaggerated movements at some point. This one is not. Small pieces, but very powerful. Back, down, and hit. I'm going to show you one more drill that you can do that will also help with this sensation. So let me go ahead and show you that drill we talked about to learn how to make that same motion, but in a more ballistic fashion. So some of the key pieces was initiating by putting your weight into your forward leg, connecting yourself with the ground. From there, getting that right arm to straighten as it stays very close to your side, and then down and into that impact condition with the hands in front of the ball. So first, find yourself a place like a sand trap or perhaps some heavy rough, anywhere where you don't mind if you disrupt the ground. And what we're going to do here, we're going to take a little step forward and just go ahead and slam that club right into the sand, as hard as we can. Step, slam, step, slam. And the thing that you'll start to really gain, first of all, you'll see how that right arm stays very close to my side here as I straighten it down into the sand. And in that first motion, I go to put my weight to my forward leg, straighten my hands and arms right down to the impact area. It looks a little strange because we're doing it in a vertical motion. 
There's no rotational component to it. You'll add that later as you go out to hit balls. So practice it slow first and then go ahead and rehearse it in some a sand trap like this, doing it harder so you can really feel what it'll feel like as you take it to the golf course. So you can see this problem will plague even very good players. Here I've got a lady that I work with that's a collegiate golfer and you can see this young lady she starts her downswing she's going to have a little bit of issue with that right elbow not getting close enough to her torso. So as she starts down here you're going to see there's a little bit of daylight between her right arm and her torso and as we move farther into the downswing that's going to cause the right elbow to trail too far behind. Now we see that impact position where the right forearm and the club shaft line up too quickly and at this time she was hitting the ball pretty well it was going a little too high it wasn't going as far as she normally hits it she wasn't taking a divot but there was not any glaring problems here so now we look at uh, Adam Scott here and you can see here right away he pulls that whole hand arm and club unit down into his side here and you can see if you took a look underneath his right bicep there you can see he's clearly connected right bicep to right torso right away puts the weight into the lead leg pulls that down pretty aggressively and now the club is with him he's able to pull a lagging club head into the ball and it really is a very different attitude at impact you can see he's going to create that position that we're talking about that's so important for power where the right forearm is pointing past the golf ball